Hello beautiful people, welcome back for another recipe. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make frijoles de la olla, which translates to pinto beans from the clay pot. This is one of our most basic dishes and often at the first stage of cooking, we like to eat our beans soup style. Wash your beans, drain the water, place them in an ample pot of your choice. I like using traditional clay pots and utensils as much as I can. Add three to four quarts of water, even five. It really depends on how soupy you want your beans to turn out. Add two to three cloves of garlic with the skin on. You don't want them to fall apart because you're going to use them later, so I recommend to leave the skin on for that reason. Cover. Add salt once beans are wrinkly. Now that you brought your beans to a boil, cover and simmer on low for two, three, even four hours. It just really depends on your pot, your amount of beans, your temperature. It's important that your temperature is very low. The lower it is, the less water you will lose during this process. If you're not losing water, you don't have to be opening and closing your pot to add water. Just think about it. Every time you open your pot, you lose a lot of flavor. So keep it covered as much as you can. I will accompany my beans with this aloe vera tea. Now that the beans are ready, take out the garlic and save it for the next stage of cooking these beans. Smelling these beans for hours makes you crave them. I'm so hungry. I am ready for my bean soup. <laughs> this is yesterday's pico de gallo. I usually have pico de gallo ready. My Mexican aged cheese some tomato sauce that I made with dried chilies. This sauce I use for various dishes. It's a great sauce to have around. A tortilla is always yummy with this. This is the kind of meal Mexicans have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This soup can be the main meal or a first course meal. Use it to accompany tacos or other dishes. Also, I invite you to try putting different things in the soup like pork rinds, radishes. My dad likes adding a little bit of mayo. Some people like putting sour cream. Let me know what you like putting in your bean soup. Maybe I'll like it too, you never know. <laughs> These beans are also great for balancing out greasy meals because they have no fat at all. Always make extra beans and store them, freeze them for other dishes like this one. If you end up with a curd on top, you know it's going to be delicious. This is the next stage to more flavorful beans. I can describe this as a bean casserole. Please subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this one. Keep me cooking and donate if you can. Thanks for joining me. Love you all. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful life. I wish you all the love and happiness. Y regresa si no hay nada que se te atraviesa. Mwah.